Greetings, Great Witch here. Welcome back to Greenhorn Farms. So, as you can tell right now, I am currently seeding a field full of oats. This is field 11. I bought this field after selling field 9 because of all the problems I was having with that. Took the money I made from field 9, bought this field. Yeah, so far, everything's going pretty good. I'm going to grow oats in this field just for the horses and the field that was left over from 21 after expansion the farm. I'll just grow wheat on that for the chickens. So, we do have a new hay life installed. I did get that done, and I did put in a small silo just for holding the food stock for the animals. So, all in all, it's going pretty good. So, once I get this field right here seeded, we're going to jump in and do a bunch of mowing, baling, probably have to make some hay, so I'm going to have to buy a tether, and stuff like that. So, it looks like it'll be pretty cool. Let me get this set up. I'll put a guy on here and let him finish this up and go ahead and get into the mowing and all that fun stuff. Because there's going to be quite a bit we're going to have to do. The mowing's not something that's going to take long, but the baling and the wrapping, that's something that does take quite a bit of time. The wrapping more than the baling. So once we get into that, it's going to be a quite a bit of work. All right, so we're going to bring out the big M. I love this thing. It works very well. As I was using the traditional way of mowing lawns where you just use a tractor with the mowing attachments and between that and the tether and trying to use a wind rower and get everything all together it was just a nightmare so I spent the money bought this this will put a swath right down the center if you want it it actually can be done up several different ways but it works great this thing moves fast it's got plenty of everything that you need to get a job done. And I dig it a lot. It works really well. And it's made me a bunch of money just selling silage bales. It's paid for itself relatively fast because at first I was doing round bales and selling off eight of those bales, I was thinking I was getting somewhere around $20,000, somewhere in that area. But now that I'm using square bales, I sell 16 of those at a time. I get about 35000 and that's for silage. So that's a pretty good bit of money, and I use that money mainly to pay for helpers, uh, fuel, stuff like that. Just expenses. Try to keep all of those types of expenses out of the money that I make from selling crops. So it works pretty well. Like I was saying, this thing mows awesome. And one cool thing about it is, if you're using the round baler, you can attach it right to this. And it'll pull it right behind it, but the problem is... The round baler has to stop every 4,000 liters to empty and to wrap a bale. So it kind of slows you down quite a bit. So I've gone to where I just use it this way. Plus the square baler won't fit on the back of it for some reason. And this works out really well. The only real thing you have to really worry about is just doing straight lines. Because this thing will turn on a dime, but the baler will not. The baler has to take kind of wide turns. And this thing right here can just turn on its own self so you have to kind of set it up to where you're mowing for the baler instead of just mowing for the mower if you understand what I mean but it works out pretty well and like I said this thing has made me a bunch of money because you can knock out bales pretty fast and not having to use a wind rower is a major help I mean I was doing a massive amount of damage to whatever I was doing because it's I just could not get it to work right and having this like this just it's perfect I can just easily use a tractor and the baler follow all this and just sweep it right all up so if you're looking into possibly doing a bunch of mowing you might want to buy this now there is a new force right I think that's how you pronounce it mod out or it's a little mower it's not as fancy as this one that one also works quite well and it does a center swap like that and there's also two options for it that have, I believe, a windrow and a tether for the same machine. So you might want to check that out. It's really cheap. It's not nowhere near this. I believe that machine is only $100,000 compared to this one being $380,000. And they pretty much do the same thing. Oh, and for a second there, I was like, what am I doing? It's like, why don't I have access to this land? And I forgot, I sold Field 9. Is going to cut down on some of the grass that I was making, but it's okay. So I'm going to try to do some new thing right here. I'm going to show the progress of what I'm doing, but I'm going to put some music over it and kind of make it kind of cool. So hope you dig it.
All right, so everything else that's left here, we're going to mow. And this area over here, I'm probably going to use the tether on and just use this for the hay. So get all this cut right here. And I'm going to have to buy a tether. And hopefully, I'm going to buy the smallest one, and that will not make this into a huge mess. Because the only time I've ever used a tether before is in a reoccurring job that was on field 30. And you'd have to mow and then use the tether, collect the hay, bale it, stuff like that. It was a real simple job, but that's the only one I've ever used. And that one was huge. And the second you would put it down on the grass, it would spread it out real far. So I'm hoping that using the real small one will keep that from becoming a big mess. But with my luck, it probably won't. It'll probably end up being a mess anyways. Because I'm really trying to get out of having to buy a windrower. Because the only one that's really worth anything is $100,000. And I'm really not wanting to spend $100,000 to fix a problem that I spent $380,000 to solve the first time. So, making hay is going to be kind of a challenge. But, for the horses, it's been incredibly easy. I didn't think that owning the horses was going to be as easy as it was because everybody was making it sound like oh you got to put in a massive amount of time for it but it's really the only thing you have to do is ride them for a little while every once in a while and that's pretty easy so I think on my next farm I'm going to have just horses and <laughs> it'll be pretty awesome alright so let's speed this up alright so I got all that done and that's pretty good so all the stuff that around the perimeter of the fields, I'm going to bale that. Some of it I'm going to wrap. Some of it I'm just going to bale and use that for feed for the sheep. And then all of this over here, I've decided that I am going to tether and turn into hay. So that's going to work out pretty good. Hopefully I'll be able to pick it up with my loading wagon without it being too much of a mess. But we shall see. Oh, I forgot. i got to come over here and mow field 11 that I just bought. All right, so we'll run the ring around this real quick. Won't take too long. I'm not going to get too involved in it. And I'll use this to feed the sheep, too. No sense in wrapping this bit over here. This will probably only get like four bales from over here. But hay is hay. And like I said, I love this cutter. This mower is, is awesome. It's too bad it's so expensive, but it's worth every penny to me. You can see like right here, like I just cut this corner. That's pretty awesome. See, too bad the baler can't cut as bad as that. I mean, it'll be close, but it won't be as sharp as this thing can turn. It's kind of stupid because I'm messing up my own stunt. But it works really well. And then after we finish this up, we we'll run over, get the baler. Bail up some of this. Hopefully it'll be pretty cool. Right, got my cedar sitting over here. Need to go put that back up too. Just sitting on somebody else's field. <laughs> and there's a still a little piece of on the end of field 11. I could mow this out, get quite a bit more grass, but I'm not gonna mess with that now. I got enough going on, so I'm just gonna do the perimeter. But you could get. Probably a few more bales just out of that little chunk right there. So it's not too bad. And it comes with this, field 11 comes with this cool little house right there too. So cool. Almost got this done. Now we can get into the stuff that's really going to take a time. Because you can go pretty fast doing the mower. Even though what I've shown so far, it goes a lot faster than it seems. The baling can go pretty fast, especially using the square baler. The wrapping, that takes quite a bit of time. So we'll have some things going on here in a few minutes. But this ends up all the mowing. And like I don't try to get every blade of grass. I just basically go for the, the majority of it and don't worry about the rest because like I said, trying to pick up all the grass at the end is, can be a nightmare. So the easier you make it, the better it is. Alright, so let's go in here and let's buy a tether. We're not going to need it right now, but we'll go ahead and buy it. Go pick it up, and that'll be all out of the way. 
So this one right here is the smallest one. And I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. There's no sense in leasing something I'm going to need multiple times. All right, let's go pick it up. And I hope, I am hoping that this is not going to make a big mess. But we'll find out about that later. We're going to do all the bailing first. Just want to go get this out of the way. That way I don't have to stop after I do get started. And have to go make a trip to the store or anything else is ridiculous. So cool. Got that all done. Now we can get into the rest of this. Well, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I was hoping it was only going to be able I was hoping it's going to be much smaller than that. But that should work. Alright, so let's get this back. Oh, I thought that was a cop there for a second. Some of these cars, they, they freak me out. It looks like cops when you're driving in first person, but then you realize there's no cops in this game. You can pretty much do whatever you want. I mean, it's not like you can do a lot, but you can do a lot of illegal driving if you want. All right, so let's dump this right here. This will be fine for right now. Let's grab the baler. This big old beast of a machine. But it does make it a lot easier. Because the cool thing about using this is you don't have to worry about rectangles rolling around. So they pretty much just stay right wherever you drop them. But look at this thing. This thing's almost the same size as my tractor. It's a big, huge honking machine. Just unfold it. It's got a front part you can lower down and you just turn it on and it's all ready to roll. This thing works really well. And you can go pretty fast with it. And just line up, turn it on, and it's ready to roll. You don't have to stop or anything like that. Just keep going. And you can do it in first person, which works really well. Let's keep it like this so you can see the bail come out. Because it takes a few minutes for it to push it out. But And actually, I'm using a, I'm in a row that doesn't really have that much grass in it, so it's going to take a little bit longer than normal. But by the time I get this whipped around, it should have one. Oh, there it is. It's starting to come out now. This thing kind of works like your lower intestine. It just kind of pushes them out. It's just kind of weird, but it's really effective. Right. That's it. What you going to do is just keep riding around and pick it all up. works really good. So that's what I'm going to do pretty much with all this is just ride around, pick all this up, get it ready for wrapping and stacking. So I think I'm going to do the same thing with some music. Speed up this progress and then just throw some music over the top of it. But if you do it in first person it's real easy too. The only thing you have to make sure is that you are actually using the baler, as I have done this a few times and then not looked in the rear view mirror to see if there was any bales falling out and just driven over an entire path where I had not picked up anything. But it looked like I did. So you have to kind of watch that with first person, especially when you get into corners and stuff because you can miss quite a bit. But I dig first person in this. It's really enjoyable to play like this in the game. Throw on some tunes, just cruise around, get all your farm work done. It's awesome. It's nice and peaceful. So I'm thinking about putting up a playlist on YouTube of just all the music that I listen to while I'm playing and doing stuff like that. Oh, check this out. I was mowing this one part and none of the grass was showing up on a swath. And then right as I got down to the end, there was this huge pile. You can see it right here. So hopefully I'll be able to pick this up without messing up the machine too bad. Okay, cool. It just went right through it. I was wondering how I was going to do it, if it was going to react weird or something like that. But it pretty much just gobble the whole thing up. Cool. So let's just keep going with this. 
and this can take a while, so depending on how much grass you've got. As I've just done them around the perimeters of each one of my fields, and I end up with a pretty good bit of mount. So if I wanted to actually just grow grass, I could probably make a lot more money. But you don't really get that much out of a field once you're growing it. It has to be a really good sized field. So you might want to keep that in mind before you start growing grass for silage or something like that. But you can get a pretty good bit just from the edges around your fields. But even though this is faster than the wrapping, it is still pretty slow. I think I'm gonna speed the rest of this progress up somewhere in here. Kind of turn it into a music video again, like I did the first time. Hopefully that works out. And I don't even worry about getting all these little bits because if you have stuff that's left over, there's a pretty good chance you'll get it with the next mow, so you don't have to worry about it. Is it'll just lay right there. I've seen some people that'll just mow and then leave it and then come back after the next one and get it like that. Which to me doesn't work too well because the mowers don't really climb over too much grass really well. Especially with some of these tractors, they just don't handle it. Now all of that is done, finally, because that took a pretty good bit of time. So we can go put this up and get out the wrapper, which is also going to take quite a bit of time. But I'm not going to do as many bales as I normally do. Normally I would do half and half, but since now I need hay, I think I'm just going to do a few silage bales just to keep, you know, so I can keep selling those and making money for cost. But more of it's going to go towards feeding the sheep now so I think what I'm going to do is when I do this I'm going to do each harvest mow for each one so one time I'll do all of the grass as silage bales one time I'll do all of it for grass bales for the sheep and then one time just all hay I don't know it's quite a bit of work but I might do it like that just to break it up so I'm not doing all this stuff at the same time because when you're doing it all at the same time it does take quite a bit more time so let's bring this out here and like I said this thing is pretty slow well, much slower than the round bale wrapper but it does work quite well it's kind of like a weird spider but one of the cool things about it is after you do pick it up, which it is kind of sensitive about that, you have to kind of really be 
on the you get it right on the edge or it just it just pushes them around but once you do pick it up you can move it around which is really cool because what I will do because in the time it takes to wrap it and all that I'll set it up in a staging area to where I can pick it up much easier with the loader which helps out a lot and a really good way to do this is to do like a dot dot dash kind of thing I say to do it every time that I go to do it but I never end up doing it because the loader can only pick up two and then it does a little thing where it cycles through and sets up for the next one so you kind of want to set up two, leave a space, set up two, leave a space, kind of like that. That way you can pick them up and then you can keep moving without having to pause or push one along. I, I try to do it, but it never ends up working the way that I want it to. I usually just end up, by the time I get done, just dropping them wherever. Just because there's so many of them and it takes such a while to do it. But it is a big help being able to move them. That's something that I do enjoy. Because with the other one, the round one, as soon as they fell out, they would roll wherever they wanted. If you were on a hill, it's gone. You couldn't, there could be a chance that you could never see that bale again. It just depends on how big the hill was that you released it on. And this, you don't have to worry about it, because once you drop them, they're dropped. So, let's listen to some more music while I do this. Get that done. And that took a lot longer than that video's made it seem like it did. <laughs> but yeah. All right. So let's put this thing up. There needs to be a faster way to do that. I hope they come out with something else in the mod or something. Just anything. I gotta make sure I leave room so I can get the baler in here too. Oh, I don't have to reset this thing because I did pull it in one time and flipped it over because I hit it with the baler. So you gotta make sure you got plenty of room. This resetting stuff sucks. All right, let's grab this tether, take it over there, and make a mess. I'm pretty sure that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm really hoping this is not gonna mess this up and it'll make it easier for me to pick up with the loading wagon. I'm sure it's going to be a nightmare, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping upon a star that it will not be a disaster. I'm pretty sure it's going to be. So if I go ahead and get myself set up for it, then hopefully it won't be too bad when it shows up. Alright, so we got to unfold this. And then lower it and then turn it on. So unfold. Okay, it's not too bad. Alright. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's actually cool. Those little bits that it keeps popping out on the side, I'm not too fond of, but... That's, that's not too bad. I can work with this. I was scared it was just going to spread it all out all crazy. But this, this is doable. This isn't too bad. Now, 
since I didn't set this up in just straight lines, I'm sure when I get into the curves, it's going to be a little bit different. But this, I think the loading wagon will pick up. It's too bad there's not a smaller tether. If it was a smaller tether, this would be perfect. But actually, that's that's not too bad. I can't I can't complain about that. That's not too bad. I mean, I probably will complain, but I'm not really going to. Because I was expecting it to be much worse than I was expecting it just to scatter it like ashes to the wind. Somebody knocked that sign down. Hmm. All right, so this isn't too bad. This was that was kind of oh, that's kind of not good. Yeah, it doesn't do well in corners. Not well at all. So it does look like I'll have to maybe run two strips down when I'm picking it up or something. I'm not sure. Run down twice, down each line, get it all. Hopefully not, but that's what it's kind of looking like. Oh, don't hit the stuff that you've already run over. That's kind of a mess. All right, I'm going to probably just speed this up or something. Alright, so that nightmare is over with, and I have made a thorough mess of this field. So let's take this back and never speak of it again. <laughs> no, let's take this back and grab the loading wagon. So we can go pick up all this and then go feed some hay to the horses. Because they have really been wanting some hay. And I think the sheep get some hay too, not quite sure. But we'll take care of that. I think I'm going to leave it right here under this shade tree. I don't really have a spot for it. This looks like a good spot. Park it under yonder shade tree. Now let's grab the caravan. Haul it over there and start sucking up some of this hay. Because that was actually a lot more... I guess I convinced myself that that was going to be much more of a nightmare. I mean, it, it got messy, but that was more my fault from the way that I laid the lines down than the tether. So if I lay the lines down straight, I shouldn't have any more problems with that. It's going to take a little bit more work when I'm mowing, but it'll be worth it so I won't have to use this so much when I'm cleaning up. Over here. And turn this thing on and start this up. See how this is going to work out. So it looks like I might get a pretty good bit of this. Oh yeah, it is. It's getting the majority of it. Uh, kinda. So it looks like I might have to be real careful, and it still looks like I'm gonna have to take two trips down each row. But that's still not bad. I was expecting it to be way worse than this. <laughs> A lot worse. What I had in my mind is it was just gonna scatter it straight back out flat. So I'm pretty pleased with what I got going on. This is not too bad at all. I don't know why I had myself convinced it was going to be such bad. I guess that's the best way to do it. If you convince yourself it's going to be worse than it is, and when it actually isn't bad, it's not too bad. But this is going to take a while to do. Especially that part over there. Oh, that's a mess. So, I'll probably do the same thing and fast forward through this. Alright, I also forgot that I didn't bail around field 11 because I keep forgetting about that. So I'm going to have to bring the bailer back out and do that, which is fun great time. But in the meantime, we're going to do this. So load some into the horse thing first. Alright, over here. Oh, you mean I can't load it in with this? Oh, that's not cool. Nah. Oh, whew. I was about to say. I thought I had to get something else. That was going to just aggravate me in total bits. Wow, they actually took quite a bit of hay. Go horses. You guys must have been hungry. Alright, let's take some of this over for the sheep. And we'll put the rest in the hayloft. And then go clean up whatever's left over on the field, which is uh, still a pretty good bit. Because this thing's pretty small. It doesn't hold very much. Oh, well they didn't want much at all. Cool. That did work out. And I'm going to use that little red shed right there to hold my overflow once I fill up the hayloft. I have to find a new place to park the little front loader deal. 
That worked out good. Cool. Let's go clean up the rest of this. All right, so I got all that taken care of, and now we're going to go out and pick up all the bales. This is pretty much going to be the final thing of this episode. This is going to take a little bit of time. But I do like this. It carries 16 bales, and when I sell silage from it, I make about $35,000 a trip, which helps out. So I try to use that just for paying for my employees, paying for seed, for fertilizer, stuff like that. But as my fields get bigger, I'm probably not going to do much more silage. Because I'm trying to buy a few more big fields and just get away completely away from this and just use the mowing for just feed for the animals. So, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this for very much longer. Well, doing the silage, I'll be mowing the entire time. But so I'm thinking about getting a bunch more horses. Because... I had myself convinced they were going to be a lot harder to take care of. and It seems like the sheep are the ones that are the most pain out of the ones that I have to do. The chickens are simple. So I might just do a f my next farm, whichever on whichever map I do, will be just chickens and horses. And whatever fields I need just to take care of them. So I'll have to figure that out on whatever map I do next. So I've actually been thinking about that. There's a few maps out, but I don't really like the way that they look. And the only other real map that I haven't played on or anything is kind of Ravenport. I've been thinking about maybe doing a uh, Let's Play on Ravenport, but I'm not sure. I might wait till just some other maps come out. Because Mercury Farms is pretty cool. Uh, Marwell Manor looks pretty cool. I could do kind of a fish out of water thing because that's in England. But I think right now, the Felsbrunn, is this, I don't know if this is Germany or not. I'm not quite sure. It's somewhere in Europe. But we're loaded up and let's take this over and stack it up. So we don't really have much for maps out right now. The forestry map's cool, but I'm just not really into the forestry thing. But I like the way that that map is set up. Okay, so I come over here and stack these as neatly as I can. This is the only time that they are stacked neatly. And there we go. Now I've seen a few other loaders. We have a new mod set, I think, that uh, has some trailers that auto load. But they don't stack as well as this one does, so... You might want to consider getting this one instead of some of the other ones, because I really like the way that this one stacks compared to some of those others. The others, they just kind of dump them. So, unless you're just going to take them for selling, and you store them like I am, you're probably going to want to go with this one. But the one thing that I don't like about this is after you finish loading it, you see that the lower part is still down. I have to wait for that to reset so I can lower it back down so I can start picking them back up. That's kind of a pain in the butt. But, I mean, that's the real, the biggest complaint about this piece of equipment. And if I was doing this in real life, I would not be going this fast, so. I can't really complain too much. So, it's a really good piece of equipment. And it's saved me a bunch of time and made me some money, so. I really shouldn't complain at all. But we'll pick up the rest of these little silage bales. I don't think I got enough for a full stack. But every little bit helps. But I uh, I think I've convinced myself that I'm going to do this each harvest. I'll do a different mow technique. One time I'll do all silage. One time I'll do all hay. I mean grass bales. And then one time I'll do all hay. So that ought to get me a pretty good supply for everything that I'm going to need for a while. If it works out. I might not do it like that because it's just the amount of time it takes to do each thing. But hopefully spacing them out would work better. So now i got all these silage bales done and the only thing i got left to do is pick up the grass ones and stack them. And then i got to go over there and bale on field 11 because I forgot to bale those up. But I'm not going to wrap those. I'm just going to bale them and stack them 
use them to feed the sheep. If I can do this without knocking down my first back. See, I'm horrible at backing up a trailer too, so trying to get this to line up and look neat and all that never really works out for me. I can get it kind of close. I've seen some people can just back a trailer up perfect. I cannot do that. I can't even do it in real life. In real life, I am horrible at backing a trailer up. I had a boss one time just tell me to stop. <laughs> he was like, just get out. Let me get somebody else in there to do it before you break something. So, I don't tend to drive trailers and stuff too much. And see, now i got to wait for that thing to reset so I can unfold it again. What if that's the biggest complaint I've got about this equipment? Then there's really nothing to worry about. But one of the bad things about having these bales is, since I didn't wrap them, they're not staged. They're pretty much just wherever they fell. And so that kind of makes this a little bit more difficult to pick them up. But it's not too bad, because all you really have to do is get this thing close enough to touch the bale, and it'll snatch them right up. But that's going to be this. Clean up these bales and then get these stacked. Do a little bit more bailing on field 11. For some reason, I'm never done with that. I don't know why I keep forgetting about that field. It's right connected to my farm, too. But I think that's pretty much how I'm going to finish this episode out. Is just this right here, because um, it's going to take me a while, and there's no sense in getting anything started while I got this going. So we'll stop right here, and I will see you on the next one. All right, well, this is Grey Witch. See you next time. Peace.